again. So for writing today, we're going to delve more into our opinion writing. I want to review. A fact is something that can be proved true or false. So it's something that you could go out and actually count. When I say a cat has four legs, I could go count and see that a cat really does have four legs and that there are not cats with one leg. Another fact would be that sharks have sharp teeth. I could go out and see a shark open its mouth, don't do this for real, feel its teeth and see that they are sharp. Those are facts, things that are true. An opinion, on the other hand, is something that a person thinks or feels. So we see our little girl here, she says cats are the best, but somebody else could say dogs are the best, or crocodiles are the best, or guinea pigs are the best. Everyone has different opinions, and it's perfectly fine that they are different. It's what you think and feel. Now, there's another step when you talk about opinions. You have to say what your reason is. And a reason is I, something that gives your opinion weight. It's the reason for your opinion. I could go out and say, I love popcorn. But somebody might turn and go, why do you love popcorn? And I would use this word, which just fell on the floor. I would say, because it's salty and buttery and delicious. That's how I would give them a reason for why I think popcorn is delicious or the best or good. I use this big long word, because, B-E-C-A-U-S-E because. Now this is not one of your sight words that we usually learn, but it's a really, really important word. And I'm going to ask you to remember this word. This is the word because. And when we write opinions, add that to our opinion chart, we are going to use the word because to give a reason for our opinion. It can be the reason that is what you think and feel. It's important that it comes from you, what your reason is. So we're going to take this word because and go back to our writing from yesterday. Let me move over a little so we can see both. Sorry, technical difficulties. All right, so right here, more technical difficulties. My stand fell apart. There we go, all fixed. Right here, I have an opinion. It says, I like cats. Which is true. That's how I think and feel about cats. Now I need to add that fancy big long word, which is because. So to add it, I'm actually going to cross off my period because yesterday I only wrote my opinion. Now I'm giving a reason for my opinion. So I'm going to write, I like cats because, and you can help me spell it. Go right off of there. It's B E. C A U S E. Like I said, it's a long word, but it's a really important one. I like cats because. Now, let me tell you the reason I like cats so much. I like cats because they are cuddly. When you have a cat and you just cuddle up with it and feel so soft and fluffy, that's the, my favorite thing about cats. So I'm going to write, I like cats because they are cuddly. All right, let's write that. I like cats because they, T, is our TH sound? Good. A, nice job. They are, we know that word, A, R, E. I like cats because they are cuddly. Uh, e. Cuddly. I like cats because they are cuddly. That is the reason for my opinion about cats. Now, what if I didn't like cats? What if, when I was little, a cat scratched my arm, and then I didn't like cats from then. That could be a reason why I don't like cats. I could have written, I do not like cats because 
a cat scratched me. And that would be a perfectly fine reason for writing about not liking cats. This is a really important word. It's the word, you hear it? Because. Because is how we show our reasons. I want to see how you go back to what your opinion of cats was and add the word because and write the reason for your opinion. Whether you like cats or didn't like cats, tell me why. All right, folks, see you tomorrow.